There are a number of ways to author, build, and deploy Lambda functions. You can use the Lambda console editor, an IDE toolkit, use command line tools, the AWS SDKs, or various automation and infrastructure as code tools. Your Lambda functions code is made up of scripts or compiled programs and their dependencies. If you are new to Lambda, building functions in the console is the easiest way to understand how it works. Lambda managed runtimes already have the AWS SDK installed so that you can use the functionality from the SDK. If you need to add other dependencies, you will need to start using deployment packages to deploy your function code, which I'll cover shortly. Lambda supports two types of deployment packages, zip archives and container images. You can create a zip archive of your function and dependencies and upload it to S3. You can also build your functions using container images. You define your container images using the OCI spec, like a Docker file, and push them up to Amazon Elastic Container Registry, Amazon ECR. This means you can use a consistent set of tools for both containers and Lambda-based applications. When you build Lambda-based applications, you package your code and dependencies, but applications also include the event sources that can trigger a Lambda function and other resources. You can use a framework to define these resources, and there are a number of infrastructure as code tools to define your cloud resources. From AWS, there's the Serverless Application Model, or AWS SAM, an open source framework, and there's also the Cloud Development Kit, or CDK, again open source to define cloud resources using familiar programming languages. Both expand the syntax and generate cloud formation. There are also a number of third-party tools to build and deploy serverless applications. You really want to be using a framework to build your serverless apps and getting into the habit of starting with a framework rather than building applications in the console. You can also create CI-CD pipelines to build and deploy your serverless applications using AWS services like CodeBuild, CodeDeploy, and CodePipeline, as well as third-party tools like GitLab, GitHub Actions, or Jenkins. I'll go through a number of deployment steps in subsequent videos.